Ace Fire, welcome back to Dweebcast. Growing up, parents falsely rejoiced when two-player games like Street Fighter came out because of the peace they thought it would bring amongst their chillins. Now you can play at the same time, boys. Mom, it's called a fighting game because that's exactly the behavior that spawns in your offspring. But the advent of this genre didn't just fuel sibling rivalries, it also challenged the standard move left to right formula everybody got used to. And since fighting games were born on the sticky floor of the now extinct arcades of Yes, Jigger, I figure we should take a trip back in time to discuss the games that gave everybody their first feelings of gay rage. Gamer rage. Gamer rage, I meant. I meant gamer rage. I'm here with YouTuber and Dweebcast producer Chad Neat. He's going to kick the show off with the first fighting game he ever laid his damn hands on. Which one was that? That's right. The first fighting game I ever laid my hands on was definitely Punch Out. You know, it's the one where your camera is right on your character. Who was named Little Mac? Little and Mac. You're in the boxing ring. You remember this? Yes, and your character always looked normal, but yeah, the guys yeah. you fought looked like Dick Tracy villains without their shirts on. I also thought that one of the villains, Glass Joe, kind of looked like Owen Wilson. Yeah. Hey guys, we're, we're boxing tonight, or we're just horsing around with some sock and boppers. <laughs> yeah. Is yeah. that Owen Wilson? It I don't could know. be Owen Wilson uh, if they made a movie. If they made yes. a punch out movie, that's who it would be. Soon to follow after Punch Out was Street Fighter. You might as well just say Street Fighter 2, because most people didn't play Street Fighter 1 or even okay. know there was one. But so, there was. Yeah, but the first one is still worth a mention, as the only played as Ryu, and a second person could join and play as Ken, but the uber diverse ensemble didn't come around truly, of course, until Street Fighter 2. There's always that kid at the arcade who hogged the shit out of the Street Fighter because he was just so good. It sucked to play against him, though, but that was definitely the equivalent of a public shaming at the ripe age of eight. Yes, started at eight. For me, it never, it never stopped. Right around the same time Street Fighter blew up, another more R-rated version of that game came out and it involved a uh, combat of the mortal fashion. What was it called? Uh, Streets of Rage? You gotta appreciate that mean 90s aerobics class look that Sonya was sporting around. Mm, <clears throat> super sweaty and hot. I remember this being the first MA13 rated game I got to play, which Def gave me some recess playground bragging rights. Yes, keep in mind though, because this was at a time when all internet stuff didn't really exist and you couldn't just look up the combo for a fatality or a babality. Knowing those moves meant you were part of the no f***ing around crew. Yeah, you kids out there, you're spoiled. I would actually venture to say that it was the inspiration for the movie Fight Club. You can see that. See, after this fighting game trend caught on, somebody had the awesome idea to make fighting game mashups like uh, X-Men versus Street Fighter. And let's be real, all the Street Fighter characters, they were just immigrants who were too poor to be discovered by <laughs> Professor X. That's so awful. I mean, it's true. Without this game, there would be no Marvel versus Capcom, so show some respect, dog. Do you making the Twitters? Follow the Dweebcasts at Dweebcast. Uh, got breaking news about Dweeb stuff and videos and pictures. Do it. Thanks for watching. I know there are still tons of other fighting games we didn't discuss, so let us know which ones we missed. Tweet us at Dweebcast. I'm Andy Reesmeyer. I'm Chad Neat, and we'll see you next time. Woo! This guy's backwards clapping. Yeah, why were you backwards most, clapping? It was the most half assed clap I've ever watched. It was the half assed backwards. Like a f seal. I think he was afraid of getting or, away at the camera. Or, 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 or.